Hello, all my water placement signs. So this would be for anyone with water signs in their sun, moon, or rising, even north node. Um, water, it's your week. It's your week. We got a full moon in Pisces. Immediately tons of Pleiadian energies coming through. Tons of Pleiadian energies coming through. We got Commander Ashtar coming through. We got the Divine Director coming through. You guys are shifting into a new paradigm. You are here to shift the world into a new paradigm. This is a way of opening yourselves up and expanding yourselves, trusting in the world around you. Okay, water signs have this problem with trusting the, the material physical world because they are so in tune and in touch and connected to the metaphysical world. So this is about opening up and being able to smooth past this idea that you're going to be scrutinized for your creative energy for being different from being um sort of deep and dark and in depth not dark but you guys have this depth this soul to you and a lot of the times there's this protective barrier around water signs because they don't want to get hurt by the material plane there's this like mistrust sort of issue with the world so we have saint germain coming through saying this is a major time of releasing karmic ties ending the cycles of abuse ending the cycles of codependency ending the cycles of addiction addiction in all shapes and forms for you guys water signs and this is about moving forward on your soul's path moving into your higher self allowing yourself to unleash your spirit and express your gifts you guys are super intuitive super intuitive super in tune and in touch with the world beyond this one super into the majestical um magic of of the realms beyond this you guys are really here to be this bridge between two worlds and work with transform my transform transforming if we can speak transforming and alchemizing the earth into this deeper vision that you hold within yourself because when you guys are like committed you're very committed when you're emotionally involved you're all in and that's how the world is really meant to be it's meant to move with the intuitive essence of our emotions but a lot of you guys have blocked those emotions out because the world has told you that it's not safe to operate that way so this is opening up those floodgates opening up the floodgates to allow yourself to come into the sensitivity of your own self, your own soul, to really tap into that, to see that as a gift, to see it as um, that depth to you. You know, maybe not everybody has been able to meet you at that depth and understanding and commitment. Um, but guess what? The world is needing to shift into that perspective. So this is your moment to shine. This is your moment to come out. You guys are super creative energies as well. So it's really about allowing your gifts to be expressed, allowing all the creative energies that you've sort of kept hidden away to be brought back into the light and allowing yourself to really move with the flow of, of where life is taking you. You guys are being redirected. There's a group of you guys that are being really redirected at this time. A lot of you guys are master healers, okay? Master healing energies I'm getting, guides, you're here to lead the new paradigm. You're here to lead the new earth because you have this connectivity and intuitive understanding of what's actually happening in the world at this time during all the chaos and bullshit. Um, and you guys have uh, moved through a lot of the darker spaces. You understand the full spectrum of life. You understand the dark. You understand the light. You understand the process of it all, whether you're consciously aware of it or not. Intuitively, you understand it and you understand how to navigate it. And as we're sort of sifting through all of the shadow into the light and doing this process to transform it alchemize our planet at this time and humanity you guys are being called that's why commander ashtar is coming in because you have a deeper level of awareness of the futuristic aspects of how life and how the connectivity between all is meant to operate and work and so you guys are coming in being asked to sort of step up into your soul mission step up into your soul purpose um this week with this moon with this energy and it's really about coming and moving beyond your comfort zone moving beyond the fear moving beyond what other people are going to think of you moving beyond relying on self-sabotaging behaviors such as the codependency and addiction because to numb the sensation of what you're receiving and numb what you're feeling or to desensitize, desensitize yourself to how sensitive you truly are because you guys feel everything. You're super sensitive. You feel everything. And with the world as it, and it's being heightened right now, um, they're telling me, your guides are telling me, the guides are telling me, um, the energies are telling me. So it's like 
everything's being really heightened right now. You're sensitive, you're super sensitive, like feeling it all. So if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling moody, if you're feeling emotional ups and downs and waves, like one day you're great, the next minute you're not, the next, like maybe you wake up really extremely happy and then you go to a store and you're like leaving feeling funky. They're saying, okay, we need to tap in and tune into the fact that we are energetically really sensitive, that we are very energetically aware of what's happening in the energies of, you know, the frequencies around us. And we have to begin to establish an energetic practice around cleansing our physical being. So the importance of water with that, drinking lots of water to cleanse your system, showering at the end of the day so that you're getting off all of the energies that you're picking up. Um, as well as sort of working with fire to sort of balance the energy of water um, and air with smudging, saging yourself. They're just telling me it's very important that we're not detaching from our sensitivity out of our protection me mechanism, but rather developing um, healthy practices and tools to set energetic boundaries is needed. And that's what's really being brought into focus this week is being able to set energetic boundaries so that we can find empowerment in our sensitivity and our emotions rather than this disempowerment, this distrust, um, and this like need to sort of protect and guard myself and to like feel as though I can't really be myself in the world and that I have to hide a way to do that and so this is your permission slip this week with this energy with this full moon of like guess what you can be your emotional self you can be sensitive you can be in tune and in touch with the energies and it's something to be feet to feel empowered about. It's something that's beautiful and it's something that's here to lead this collective at this time. You are here to guide, you're here to lead. So whatever shifts and whatever changes are not happening the way you planned, you are being divinely guided at this time. Divine intervention is happening for you guys. Water signs, water placements to help you reach a state where your sensitivity can be used in a way that makes you happy. Environment changes. I'm getting environment changes. Boom, 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 boom. Things are changing in your environment. Um, for some people, that's the fires, that's the hurricanes, the, your environment, and you're feeling it all. Really sensitive to the earth, really sensitive to what's changing with the earth at this time. And you guys just know the earth is shifting and changing and transmuting and alchemizing and St. Germain coming again, saying you're sort of here to not only release the karma for yourself, that a large collective of you are healing transpersonal karma, meaning you're not only healing your karma and why you're feeling so much is because you're not only healing the emotions within yourself, you're healing the emotions in the entire collective that have been rooted and grounded in our ancestors um, for in the, in the earth for decades, since the beginning of time, which many are, of you are, you know, having this pessimistic, like, great, really, really? Um, but it's this beautiful thing. And when you see that as powerful and activating and you're like, whoa, I'm healing this energy, I'm healing this energy, I'm shifting and changing and molting this into this beautiful thing, that's when you begin to have fun and create with it. There's again, tons of creative energy coming through for the water signs this week. Okay, and it's coming from this um, emotional spark that's happening. It's from it's coming from the sensitivity. You guys are feeling really sensitive, but at the same time, super creative. Tons of creative energy pouring through, so that you begin to take charge and share that with the world. The creativity has to be shared with the world. It cannot be hidden anymore. No more time to believe in the self. Time to trust the self. Time to trust the world. And it's almost like this energy of kind of like. For a group of you, it's almost kind of like being like, I don't give a fuck. I need to just do, put this out there because it makes me happy. And that's where a lot of this divine alignment is coming through. It's like breaking away from relationships that are no longer serving you, no longer giving you the room to... Uh, and I'm also getting that in some relationships, there's been this condemning of being sensitive of like, oh my God, why are you so sensitive all the time? And like, that is not... That's a toxic relationship, karmic relationship. We gotta get out of it. We gotta end it. We gotta stand our ground and say that, you know what? We have to find people that are willing to see the beauty and gifts in our sensitivity. And if anyone is doing that and shaming it, we need to cut them out. So that's coming through very strongly for our group uh, of you guys. There's a lot of energy coming through for water signs. <laughs> Not surprised. Um, home environments are shifting and changing. We're circling back to that. They're circling back to it. A lot of you guys are shifting locations, shifting, um, moving, um, getting moves, environment changing, home 
is changing to better suit your sensitivity at this time. So if you found that you couldn't really breathe or that you are feeling this heaviness of the geographical location you've been in, you're aligning with places that are more aligned with your soul at this time. So there's those shifts and changes as well. Everything that's shifting and changing at this time, jobs are shifting and changing for you guys. Um, again, that coming through really strongly, you know, if it hasn't been utilizing your gifts and your creative energy, it's shifting and changing. And this is an opening for you to sort of utilize the creative energies of yourself to begin to make that more of your purpose and then cycle that into your life at a little more uh, of a prominent, in a, in a more prominent way. We're just gonna get into the cards. I'm gonna allow them to direct me because there's tons and tons and tons of energy around you guys this week and with this full moon of course in Pisces all right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, the card's just confirming everything that we already know. I'm going to actually pull some like purpose cards for you guys as well. Um, probably gonna pull a couple because I know there's a couple of different groups here. Um, but life purpose just being really highlighted, stepping up into the role um, <laughs> that you guys are here to serve in this lifetime. Stepping up into being this futuristic visionary, stepping up to be this leader of the new earth, of the new era, um, coming in really strongly. Because sensitivity is what is meant to guide and assist us with moving forward. It's meant to be our navigational system. So, a different life purpose card. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. Surprise. Whoa. With all the energy is just coming through. Okay, yes, we already knew. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Water signs. Okay, we're gonna start with the Lemurian cards first. Of course, they pulled some Lemurian cards because the strong connection with Lemuria is coming through. A lot of fear from past lifetimes. And Atlantis and Lemuria are coming through for the water signs as well. So a lot of prominent water placements. This could be even Venus placements as well. Um, with water, if you guys are feeling fear right now of like of the unknown, of things, of, of like putting yourself out there or of stepping into your soul mission and purpose. They're saying that there's a lot of hesitation with stepping fully into the soul mission and purpose and how it's been calling the soul because of the Lemurian lifetime. It's almost like we have, that is really coming forward with the water signs and a lot of the collective at this time, this fear of um, exposing myself to have it end in tragedy, of stepping up and taking the lead, but ending it like it not being enough, of it not being good enough. And almost with all of the collective energies, it may be mimicking the same sensation of the sinking of Lemuria and Atlantis and the wars and the, the, all the crap that happened then. So it's triggering, um, but it's all helping to transmute that energy and alchemize it. Again, St. Germain coming through. If you guys are working through a lot of transmutation karmic energies and stuff, mistrust, trusting, uh, coming through again, call on St. Germain. He can come in and help you and really cut those ties. If you're stuck in addiction, um, codependency, toxic, narcissistic relationships coming through for you guys as well, call on St. Germain, cut it. Um, okay, we have the first card here, full spectrum. This is understanding of life and death. This is the understanding of all, the entirety of all that is and all that is meant to be um this is the understanding of created creativity from the ashes to to the heavens above us this is the understanding of all that is so you guys are going through a rebirth period uh an emotional rebirth this is also the restructuring of the sense of self this is the connectivity of the wholeness of all of your chakras connecting to the earth connecting to the uh, ether allowing the fullness of your being to be expressed um, and the understanding of both worlds. You guys have this understanding to be this bridge between two worlds and being able to understand that in some way, shape or form. So this is really just
this confirmation that this time this week is bringing into this deeper understanding of of everything this is the connectivity of christ consciousness unity consciousness coming through for you guys really being able to deeply understand how the two worlds can connect how they're meant to meet together and in what ways we can sort of combine you know all of the essence of spirit with our material plane and world understanding the process of death and life and cycles um which is also coming through with those those karmic clearings for you guys moving through the process to get to the light um coming through as well mm, and then we have realm bridger which is connected directly to again those earth energies and connecting them to the higher frequency energies of spirit being able to understand how to be this bridge between two worlds and bridge in a higher consciousness into the density of earth being able to become more accustomed and tuned to the higher senses and the senses beyond the physical body you guys are opening up so this week is really about opening yourselves up dreams are off the charts um the visual aspects clairvoyant abilities being blasted um open and receiving 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 you guys are receiving so much information at this time and really connecting with a higher um, plane of existence and really bridging that energy down to earth. You guys might have a lot of ascension symptoms this week. If you can get into water, get into water. If you can work with water, work with water, drink a lot of water to help you ground all of the higher energies because you're bridging and higher energy to solidify them into the roots of earth. So with Jermaine coming through for you guys and this card, um, there's just this energy, this uh, understanding that even if it's not like your sole mission and purpose, with the water energies, what's happening at this time is for a lot of you guys, um, a big a big group of you that understand and know your star seeds, understand and know that you're not from this planet, understand and resonate with the energy of light workers. So if that's you and you resonate with those terms, this is for you. Um, you guys are really bridging in a higher consciousness. You're being opened up as a vessel and as a channel to bridge higher energy into the groundedness of Earth. So it's very, uh, you're allowing yourself to rest, allowing yourself to create as so-called, listening to the intuitive steps that are being gifted to you at this time. But really what this is happening is opening up and pouring through you a higher concentrated energy um, through the crown chakra, moving it through your body, again, with this full spectrum energy as well. Uh, just the, the picture of it um, bridging in a higher energy through your crown chakra and then having it sort of come through you and connecting it to earth to gift the earth that higher frequency higher energy it's almost as like you are this um, transmuter of the higher energy is coming through at this time so that's really coming through is bridging literally the energetics of things through you so you may be going through and shifting through a lot of things um physically emotionally again with a lot of shifts and changes happening and that's just mimicking what's coming for the collective energy is sort of being this oracle for the collective at this time and in this week um and allowing sort of yourself to come into the essence of your dreamy creative nature and really finding solace and comfort there um utilizing everything that's pouring through you at this time to make sure and ground make sure you plant your feet in the earth at this time they're just telling me plant your feet in the earth connect with the earth and ground the energy envision a white light or a light white pillar just surging through your body coming through your feet and going underneath the ground to sort of uh be able to serve as this position at this time as this realm bridger and you're also really care to as this realm bridger um really open up the rest of the collective to see that our unique talents and gifts our quirkiness are sort of abstractness and our weirdness or what's considered weird and abstract and our uh, creative energy is what's really here to be this unique expression and gift in the world and that is our sole mission and purpose and you're really here to act upon that so you guys are really being tapped into the creative energies this week acting upon them without scrutiny um, sharing them with the collective and that's our next card uh, communication co-creation okay we have to be able to open up to receiving other people into our life. We have to open up to receiving the emotional support that we need at this time. We have to open up to see that we're not here to do it alone and that we actually can trust other people. This is about trusting other people. This is about trusting humanity. This is about trusting the world, okay? See that center there? The world, the globe coming together with our stole, our star seed um, family, our 
earth family and bridging the two together being this unifying force again this realm bridger that connects the earth atmosphere the earth connections our earth family with the star kin being able to merge within both being able to utilize both as receptivity and guidance as we begin to move forward and support this is also about being able to sort of uh, allow your gifts to be seen, to be heard, to be recognized by the world around you, knowing that they will be supported, knowing that there will be support and praise around you, recognition for the light that is within your heart and soul. This is about being able to let your light shine and allowing yourself and the truth of your creative expression to finally be shared with the world, no longer hiding away or feeling as if it's not going to be understood by others and really seeing that when you shine your light, you actually encourage others to do the same. And this is part of your soul mission and purpose and ushering in a new paradigm at this time then we have the soul purpose cards which i'm not surprised because this is total water energies music okay i'm getting a lot of scorpio energy around this um, pisces energy as well um this is for you this is really about pursuing the musical ventures of your heart wherever you've held back from tuning in and tapping into the uh, vibration of sound and allowing that to be expressed in the world now is the time to share it's it's now time to pursue it it's now time to share what is happening at this time with those that are associating with this this energy the music energy um getting a lot of sound healers a lot of be, people being called to sound healing or revamping of the musical interest um reconnecting with the gift of music in and of itself being able to recreate music and channel our creative energy in a new dimension away it's being heightened at this time but also a lot of you guys that have wanted to pursue mu music and that have put it on the back burner at this time it's almost as if you're being divinely uh guided and intervened in your life to like circle back around to this at this time music and the vibrational melodies of the frequency of music and sound have this exceptional um, ability to heal and transcend this earth melody music rhythm it's all energy that's channeled through you uh, from the higher angelic realms people channel music all the time um and it's like you don't need to understand it you just need to t tap into it and there doesn't need to be this contemplation of whether it will be received or not it will be received when it's coming from your heart and passion and you're allowing yourself to channel the energy through you so this is needing to be pursued at this time for those that resonate then again major pisces energy um scorpio energies here as well um Mm, yeah again pisces pisces coming through really strongly mm, the full moon um and we also have cancer energy but this is going to be in a different way so this is uh healing energy so i'll kind of go over the couple of energies that i'm getting with this um you guys are healers the water energies are healing at this time they understand how to move through the emotions and transmute them into something greater and bigger and better this is about being able to provide with the pisces and scorpio energies this is about providing alchemization in the form of energy healing um spiritual healing counseling um past life regression sessions working hands-on with the body working with the physical modalities of life to begin to transform and shift the vibration of humans earth etc um reawakening to the healer that lies within you also getting plant plants working with plants with this um especially for pisces energies um healing even through the words um is what they're saying so it's really about all forms of healing if you've been called and you felt called to healing you felt that you're a healer this is time to really begin to share your gift with other people they're saying that there's a gift of healers that know they're healers and they haven't come fully out of the closet with this they haven't really allowed themselves to pursue this path and this is at this time to allow yourself to be divinely guided and intervened to take you on this healing journey of healing not only yourself but healing the world around you because you have been called and in your heart you know and trust this in your heart you know and trust the way that you are meant to, to heal and it calls at you so allowing yourself to answer the call finally and being able to step out and being able to step to the forefronts of humanity at this time to share your gifts and healing abilities with the world is what's needed now okay with cancer energies the cancer energies that are coming up with this card is it's cancer heals in a very nurturing way this is about reassuring others on their path this is about being able to sit down and have a conversation heart to heart and allowing people to clear away their heart heart awakening um do, really doing work with the emotional spectrum of things really doing work with counseling working with relationships relationship counseling coming through for cancers as well um working with the dynamics of the home and family um and being able to provide healing spaces holding space 
cancer holding space that's really the the message here um, being able to provide a safe space for others to begin to unveil the the shadow energies and karmic patterns that are needing to be transmuted and expelled from the physical being and body so cancer energies if you're resonating with that that's for you and then closing off this reading here we have creative expression which i'm not surprised about it all this is coming through really strongly for all of the um the poetry is coming through for cancers um and cancer and energy drawing for cancers painting for cancers so this would be cancer sun moon and rising and even north node even mc um in haven um yeah, you guys, all of the energy that's pouring through at this time is creative energy. This is all allowing you to begin to tap in and tune into the full spectrum of life and the full spectrum of creative energy. You're understanding the way that the world shifts and turns. You're understanding the, the process of dark and light. And you're understanding how that can be shifted and molded into beautiful creations that can allow the words to be expressed on a canvas or through music or through the ability of drawing or words themselves and this is allowing you to find healing for yourself but this is also gifting healing and the awareness of of um almost like solidifying that i'm not moving through this alone because our others are resonating with the art and the creative process and aspects this is also channeling all of the emotions that you're feeling and the sensitivity at the time and to creative endeavors to help move yourself along in the healing process but also to sort of again usher and sort of demonstrate this process to other people transmutation as it's great form transmuting darkness into light through the art of creative endeavors and allowing yourself to use the all of the emotions and sensitivities that we're feeling whether they be bad or good to tune them and channel them into creative energy creating something from the the chaos creating something from the emotion creating something from the upheaval and allowing yourself to really be this demonstrator and this leader in that collective paradigm at this time of transmutation in allowing us to see that our emotions are this tool and key for creating not only artistically but creating our life um and again with that full spectrum card it's again our life and it's about tapping into see that our life is met through creation you know tapping into the spirit and also tapping into um physical representations of things through like painting and self-expression and maybe writing or uh, music or whatever it may be it's all channeling and bridging the realm of earth and the creative endeavors of earth with spirit inspiration so it's really being able to be this um this guide and this leader that's seeing we can bridge true realms through acting on our creative impulses and again it could be like decorating homes it could be um photography it can be um it's it's really about understanding that you're here to create water signs but it's also being able to show others that um, when we are creating, that is when we're receiving the most downloads and connection. And that we, when we're creating and tapped into the creative energies of our idea, of these ideas that are pouring through us and the artistic qualities of them, that's when we are most connected to God, to source, to, to that energy. And that comes through us and to us when we're in tune and in touch with our emotional spectrum of all that is. And that when we are connected and tapped into that, we are connected to the the creative intuitive energies um that help us understand how to navigate life itself and in general so um yeah sharing the creative energies that's that's coming through very strongly creating making time to create tapping back into the creativity there's a lot of you guys that have pushed aside the creative aspects of yourself and pursuits of yourself the longings of the heart and the soul to pursue sort of more of these earthly measures and being heavily conditioned around the worth of needing to have stability or foundation underneath you by pursuing um more stable um things and not really making time for more of these creative pursuits and this is a time of really redirecting you back to the creative heart of your soul and allowing yourself to find yourself again in that space um beautiful energy beautiful week for you guys happy full moon in pisces and i hope that you guys have a beautiful week make sure that you create time to express yourself artistically creatively um, and allow your emotions to be transferred into that space sending you guys lots of love and i will see you on the other side